Hello, this is Charles Folkart, January 24th, 2018. I welcome all of you. Thank you for watching, subscribing, sharing, and supporting this channel. Turned out to be a really nice morning. The sun is out. It's warming up, and it is good to be alive. There's lots of stuff going on in the world. And I want to do this video on a favorite a uh, rant of mine, if you will. I love talking about how you or why you shouldn't watch Talmud Vision. You know, back when I was in my 30s, uh, we used to call the TV the boob tube, the idiot box, the plug-in drug. And now, recently, I picked up the new term, Talmud vision. And that's because I found out who controls it. I had all those other names, boob tube, plug-in drug, idiot box. There's another one about sewage. I can't remember that one exactly, but uh, you get the point. And that was before I knew who controlled all the television programming. And they call it programming for a reason. You know, actually, um, the, the patent for, if I'm not mistaken now, the patent for the television was actually for the programming and not for the, um, the transfer of images and the movies and all that other stuff that we see. I mean, I might be wrong about that, but it doesn't matter because... Uh, the TV guy comes out with the television programming. It, 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 the point is, you lay back in your recliner, you lay back in your lazy boy, you lay back on your couch, and you get in the alpha state, and you use your remote, and they send those alpha waves to you and they program you and they brainwash you and they do it when you're a young child all the way up to you're an adult and that is why that i think what we see on that flat screen now is the reason that most americans are stupid now you don't think you you, you know i think people go you know i had a couple people make comments there saying that, uh, you know, they, I, they, they took offense to the fact that I call the American people stupid. Well, I'm not the only one who calls American people stupid. Let's go have a look at that, shall we? I want to get to this issue because I heard, I, heard you, I heard you just say something about they're stupid, and I heard you say the word idiot. You talk about what we were just talking about. Republicans. The, yes, okay. But there, there was a, <laughs> I didn't okay. say stupid, though. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I heard it. You said the word stupid. And I, I, I'm bringing this up <laughs> okay, because this guy, word. Jonathan Gruber, yeah. he's an MIT professor who worked on the Obama health care plan. Oh, you're moaning. Plan. Okay. Okay, wait. Big controversy because they, they found a tape of him basically saying the American people are stupid because he was saying a lot of tapes because what he was saying was to get the bill passed, we had to do a lot of sleight of hand or else they never would have voted for it. If we called it a tax, even though it was a tax, you have to like basically slip a pill in the dog's food, I mean, the, in a piece of ham to get the dog to eat the yeah. pill. Yeah. I agree. I, and I've heard nobody else in America <laughs> say that. Everybody on the left and the right, oh, how could he call American stupid? Show the clip of the one man in America who agrees with him. But I would never put anything past this stupid country. Because people are dummies. They don't know what's going on. I think a lot of them are just dumb. I'm the bad guy for saying people are dumb. They're not bright enough to really understand the issues. Uh, people are already complaining that you're calling the United States a stupid country and gi giving you a chance to clarify. I don't need to clarify. It is. <laughs> well, you're, yes, you're, you're Jonathan Gruber, you have met your soulmates. <laughs> it's, I, how, how this is even controversial, I have no idea. It's pretty fun. I, I'm stupid. Now, I'm no fan of Bill Mayer, and that guy, he's a Jew, as you probably know, and uh, he's one of those Jews that can fool you because he looks like a white guy. 
And I've been fooled by other Jews that look like this guy Mayer, and they call themselves Goldan, for example. And I lost a lot of money from these slick operators. So stay away from the Jew if you're going to do business. And by the way, that lady in the red, you know who that is? That's Christia Freeland. She's the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the one that uh, I suggest or I recommend that you contact regarding Monica Schaefer being in prison there in Germany. Let's have another look at her, shall we? I'm an American here, but I'm going to defend Americans. Are Canadians smarter? Canadians are very smart, especially the people who live in my district. Those are the smartest Canadians. Toronto Centre, I love you. Wow, that's a, um, that's a suck up right there. I you got you. Do yes, it. way you to go. Do You're getting I'm, defe I'm defending Americans here. Because, <laughs> How do you pronounce no, about? No, about. 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 So you're about. Wrong. You know no, everything. But the, the fact that Americans have checked out of politics or that Americans find the health care reforms to be really confusing, I don't think you can blame regular American people for that. I think you have to blame the media and politicians yeah. for Can you that. blame them for not knowing the three branches of government for checking out on that one? Because that one happened a lot before health care came down the pike. But we're talking about health care <laughs> and we're talking about the... They're stupid. Gruber was right. Gruber just Gruber said. Gruber was right. He Gruber just said. said what people don't want. Uh, I know there's a lot more to uh, making Americans stupid than the Talmud vision. Yeah, I get that. The education system and Hollywood movies. But I think it all starts here. Even before children go to school, it starts with uh, Talmud vision. And I want to show you why from the scripture... I want to show you why, from Scripture, why you should get rid of your flat-screen TV, no matter how much you paid for it, and how much you spend, how much you waste time watching it. The blacks live out their dream in their sports while you sit on your butt at home when you could be outside, you could be doing a project, you could be, oh, oh my God, you could be reading a book, you could actually be educating yourself, or you could be playing games with your children and your family. You could go for a uh, There's a million things you could do besides sit there in the alpha state with your remote in your hand flipping from one channel to the next because you know there's nothing on you 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 can't recall you can't name one thing you learned after spending three hours watching a sports event on the flat screen can you be honest let's go have a look at scripture as to why from scripture you shouldn't be watching talmud vision Let's start here in Proverbs 6:16, 6, shall we? These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. And a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. We could spend quite a bit of time on that one, but that's not the subject of this video. I want to go back up here and draw your attention to this verse right here. A heart, this is an abomination unto God, Yahweh. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. Let's go have a look at this verse, shall we? So let's look up this word here in the Hebrew, devises. Um, and it's, uh, it was interesting. When I looked into this, uh, it's to scratch by implication to engrave, um, to fabricate. Keep that in mind. And the next word here is wicked. I don't think, I think we all got a pretty good idea what it means, what that word means, wicked. And then this is the most important word here, I believe. 
its wicked imaginations. And let's have a look at that. Contrivance. And I want to draw your attention here to this word plot. Cunning work, but mostly plot. And it's from this word here, 28. I mean, 2803. To weave, to fabricate in a malicious sense, usually in a malicious sense. With that in mind, let's go on to the next verse in Matthew. The next verse I want to bring to your attention in Matthew chapter 15. Let's go have a look at that. Matthew 15, 19, for out of the heart proceed A, evil thoughts, B, murders, C, adulteries, D, fornications, E, theft, F, false witness, and G, blasphemies. These, in verse 19, these are the things that defile a man. Defile a man. Now, I would ask you, let's go back to Proverbs uh, Verse 18 again. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. And these are what comes out of a heart, right? For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, and blasphemies. You know, they felt, you know, everybody blames the Jews for, for killing Christ. And then the Jews try to pass it off on the Romans. You know, I'm one of the few people that believes it was the blacks. <laughs> I don't care. Good. I, I hope the Jews did kill Christ. I'd do it again. I'd fucking do it again in a second. If I hear his Birkenstocks clacking this way. These are the things that defile a man. So, now, uh, evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, blasphemies, aren't those the themes, aren't those the plots, aren't those the subjects of the television programming that the majority of Americans watch every night? And it's not only on what they watch on uh, HBO and Netflix and the rest of it, it's those Hollywood movies they check out of the libraries for free and all the boxes. Now, I noticed down here in front of McDonald's, there's a red box and you can rent the movies for the night. And people are always there getting their movie. They're getting their, uh, their uh, share, their uh, quota for the week of evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, blasphemies, the things that defile a man. Remember, uh, remember when I was young, it was my three sons. And now, what is it? My three dads. And I remember back in 1971 when All in the Family came out. That was the first politically correct evening sitcom. January 1971. Right in the middle of winter, folks. Nobody got nothing to do. They sit at home and they watch Talmud Vision. Archie was what? He was the working class, bigoted, white Protestant male hater. This was probably the very first um, programming against the white male. And it was created by, you guessed it, a Jew named Norman Lear. Who do you think? Who do you think r r r writes the plots and the screenplays, and the, who does the screen r r writing for all of these uh, uh, sitcoms and these HBO specials and these movies? Yes, you got it. It's the uh, the mind and the heart of a Jew. They devise the wicked imaginations, and then you goy, you sit down there, and they allow you to program you. And these are the things that defile a man. I think I've told you more than once that I think the worst mistake, the, one of the biggest mistakes I ever made was allowing a 
television set into my home. And we did that in a new home I built, and that would have been the fall of 1986. So I had my first child at uh, 1975. So 11, it took 11 or 12 years for us to get a TV, a Talmud vision in our home, and I regretted it. And I remember turning it on. for the, It was the pressure. My children were going over to other folks' house, and they would, the parents would come and tell me, boy, your children, I won't name them, but uh, it wasn't their fault. Uh, we were told, boy, your children are glued. We can't get them away from watching Talmud Vision. And I realize now that Satan was honing in on them, my two young children. And boy, was that a mistake. Instead of telling the parents, well, don't let my children watch t television when they're at your house because they don't have one here. We went in from pressure. And uh, it's my fault. I let it in. But um, the pressure from the wife, the ex-wife now, for good reason, we want to be like all the rest of them, all right, all the rest of the folks, right? So we got a television in our house, and I've said this many times, that was when the programming of my wife began. Took, uh, oh, I don't know, I'd say five, six years before that Jew programming every week to have us effect they program your wife folks i'm speaking to you males have the courage to get rid of your talmud vision you don't need it that talmud vision is undermining the authority your authority as the male head of house it's planning evil thoughts it's planning planting wicked imaginations in the minds of your children and your wife and your family members i'm telling you i think it was king david who said i will put no wicked thing before my eyes television programming in the Hollywood and we all know who runs it this programming this brainwashing has ruined our culture wouldn't you agree and a lot of people say well I watch the History Channel or I watch Jeopardy or I, I you know I I'm careful what I want no 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 History Channel is probably the one of the worst because you think you're getting a a straight education you're getting the facts they're brainwashing you some people call that the Hitler channel get a clue folks it's like an alcoholic saying well you know um, I'm just going to keep uh, I'm just going to keep some uh, uh, some beer not you know in my house I, I I'm gonna stay away from no 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 a real alcoholic he knows he's a real alcoholic he won't drink anymore he can't handle it. That's like saying uh, I, you have a gambling problem. You're just going to, you know, you're just going to play the slot machines for, or uh, I'm just going to put in 20 bucks and then I'm going to quit. And then three hours later, a couple hundred dollars uh, in the machine later, you realize that the machine is strong. The, your addiction is stronger than you are, right? Um, get rid of your TV, men. No man, they'll be screaming and and uh, complaining, and you'll be the bad guy for a while. But figure out something else to do. Keep your family occupied. Get them books. Get them games. Get them projects. Learn an instrument. Be an author. There's a lot of things you can do besides watch evil, wicked imaginations. Remember, it's an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for supporting this channel. And may the grace of God, our Father, Yahweh, 
be upon us all, for it should be quite obvious that we most certainly need it. See ya. Goodbye. Christoph, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello.